The purpose of a system is what it does. Let me say that again. The purpose of a system is what it does, not what it says that it does. Now, this phrase here just might save you your sanity in the times that we're living in. And as time goes on, it's going to get crazier. Because if you don't understand that, what that means, the purpose of a system is what it does, then you are going to go more and more insane trying to stick to the definition that is given to you of certain systems. Let me give you an example. Uh, I'm going to give you a few examples, actually. So, you know, let's pick some systems like psychology. They say, they say the purpose of that is to help people heal, right? Maybe they have disorders, they have trauma, they have the, all these different issues. And the purpose of it is to help people, is what they say. But what it actually does is, many times, gets people on psychotropic drugs, uses a lot of weird techniques, and keeps people in therapy for years and years and years, and a lot of times they aren't helped, especially if you know people aren't guided towards the gospel. Let's talk about another one. Uh, medicine. Uh, Got to be careful what I say here, but you know the purpose of that is what? To, to heal people, to fix their injuries and illnesses and all these other types of things. But in reality, they make billions of dollars from people being sick and people end up being hurt. And it's a huge money-making machine. And a lot of people do pass away in that system. And yet it seems to, you know, they spend billions of dollars on trying to find cures and somehow they just can't find it. And so the purpose that they say the system has is not really being executed. Why is that? Well, because the purpose of a system is what it does. Let, let me give you another example. What about the justice system, right? Think about it in the name. This is, by the way, this is about linguistic deception, right? It's about, you know, telling you uh, a certain word, using certain words, and they tell you it means one thing, but in reality, it means another thing entirely. And so, justice system. Well, it's supposed to execute justice, right? It's supposed to be blind justice. It's supposed to be fair. And it's supposed to punish the guilty and uh, justify the righteous, the innocent. And But is that what it does? No, that's not what it does. That's not what this system does, especially where we live in this country. That's not what it does. So wait a second. This system, which they say has this specific purpose, keeps doing the opposite of what they say the system is supposed to do, right? And, it, and listen, this isn't just one or two times, a few times, a small percentage. No, this is many times, over many years, a pattern to where things just don't add up. It doesn't make sense. And, and eventually you have to go, wait a second, why isn't this system doing what it's supposed to do? What they say the system is supposed to do. Let me give you one more example. How about the word democracy, right? This is a system, but also the word, right? And it's supposed to be, we have a choice of who is governing us. But really, it is an illusion. Of course it is. It's an illusion. But people have to feel that they have the choice. That's the, that's the, the point that is the most important, right? They have to have the illusion of it. It reminds me of a, a, a quote from this movie that came out years ago, Gangs of New York. And in the movie, he said, one of the guys says, the appearance of the law must always be upheld, especially when it is being broken. That's a very important thing to remember. It's all about the appearance. The appearance always has to be kept up. The appearance of the law, the appearance of democracy, the appearance of all these things in order for people to maintain the illusion that the system is doing what they said the system's supposed to do. But here's what is going to happen. It's been happening, right? Now what we see is, you know, this has happened over many years, decades, right? Where they, they started with this is what the system's supposed to do. But then uh, the purpose of the system keeps getting farther and farther away from what they said it's supposed to do. 
Now here's what's going to happen. This is going to. It's not. This isn't all the. You know, all about deception. By the way, this is also about uh, sanity. I mean, I'll explain that. So people are deceived about that, right? But the problem is, is this is going to drive some people insane. They are going to lose their minds, especially people who are used to being rule followers their whole lives, where someone says to them, this is the system, this is how it works, and if you follow the system and you follow the rules, this is what's going to happen. But then over time, as, as the purpose of the system keeps getting farther and farther away from what it's supposed to do, it, it's going to start to, to drive them nuts. Because you're going to say, no, the system's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to do this. But yet it keeps doing what it's not supposed to do. Why does it keep doing what it's not supposed to do? And, and, and then for a long time, a lot of people, you know, I especially see this with conservatives. They're like, that's not what it's supposed to do. The system isn't supposed to do that. It's supposed to do this. You're supposed to follow the Constitution. You're supposed to follow this. This is what the system's supposed to do. And yet it keeps going away from what they say it's supposed to do. Right? And, and it's going to get further and further away. And for a lot of people, they are going to snap. Because the purpose of the system is what it does. Not what they say it does. And they can't handle that. They can't accept that. But that's the nature of the deception. Okay? And so if you don't understand that and you don't accept that, that, hey, wait a second... If I look at it and they say that this is this system is supposed to do this certain thing, but they consistently over time keep doing the opposite of what they say it's supposed to do, then the purpose must be something different than they say it is supposed to be. It must be a different purpose. And once you accept that, even though you know it's totally corrupt, it's bad, it's awful. Yeah, I know, it's awful. Even though you know that as you're still going to be living in reality and it will help you it will really help you because if you try to force this false reality in your mind which is stuck in, in in the definition that they give the more that they get away from that it's going to tear you apart it's going to tear your mind apart and it's going to happen to a lot of people they're not going to accept that they're going to keep pushing and keep pushing it until it's destroyed because they want to destroy it all. Um, and so, how does this apply spiritually? It absolutely does. I'm going to tie that into that as well. So, let's let's talk about the purpose of religion, right? Purpose of churches and religion or whatever, any other institution, religious institution you want to say. Oh, it's supposed to help people get closer to God. It's supposed to, you know, help people's faith. It's supposed to feed the flocks and all these types of things. But what do we see right now? It's not happening. It's been getting further and further away from the, the purpose that they say it's supposed to have. It's what they say. It's not helping people. It's not helping people get closer to God. The churches are filled with wolves as pastors, ab abusive people who are physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally abusing people. They are... And they're supposed to teach the truth, right? They're teaching lies. They're teaching deception. They're teaching counterfeit Christs, occult techniques, all these other things. And the purpose of this system is way away from what it's, what it's supposed to be, what they say it's supposed to be. Now, what's interesting about this is it's following the exact uh, description that Jesus gave of the Pharisees. Uh, Jesus was talking about the Pharisees. And he said, do as they say, all that they observe and bid you to do, that do. You should do what they say, because they say and do not. So how does that relate? Well, they say, you know, the Pharisees, they would say, you should do this, you should do that. This is the right thing to do. This is the right thing to do. But they wouldn't actually do those things. So if you think about them as the system that I'm talking about, they whatever they say the purpose is, they wouldn't do what the, pur the purpose is that they say. The purpose of a system is what it does. They wouldn't do what they say to do. And that's the same thing today. Now, how could you summarize that in a biblical phrase? Well, it's very simple. 
by their fruits ye shall know them. And you see, and a lot of people get caught up in the words, okay? And this is about the linguistic deception. People are evil, easily deceived by words, right? Even you could say casting a spell. Maybe that's why they, you know, they have the word spell in the word spelling, how you spell a word. I know that might, might seem kind of, uh, you know, hocus pocus to some people, but it's very much a reality. People are deceived by language, okay? And, and so the way that they're deceived is that you say a word, they say a word, and they want you to think that it means one thing, but to them it means something completely different. You see that? And so this applies to false teachers, obviously, but others you can see too, people who influence society. They call them influencers, right? They'll say one thing and they'll, you know, people are deceived by good words and fair speeches. You know, people that are good speakers, charismatic, convincing, all these things. They got to be, if they can speak well, if they're confident, then they just trust what they say. And they trust, by the way, again, the specific words that they say. But you know what they're not looking at? A lot of times, not looking at the fruit. But what is the fruit? What is the fruit in, in that person's life that's actually teaching? And else, that's not it though. What is the fruit of their teaching? That's another thing you got to look at. Say they, they teach something, they say that it's good, but then what is actually the fruit of the teaching? Is it, is it producing good fruit in the people's lives of, of the people who are listening to the teaching? Is that what you're looking at as well? Not just looking at, oh, this sounds good? That sounds like it's something good to be teaching? You know, because you could say that about Joel Osteen, right? Things that he said, wow, that sounds really good. Sounds really good. But what's actually the fruit being produced in people's lives that are listening? It's not good. Oh, it's all about prosperity. But then what happens actually? Well, they keep getting let down over and over again because their life isn't working out according to the words that he say. The fruit is not lining up with the words, right? So by their fruits, you shall know them. It's a, it's a very biblical, biblically similar way of saying the purpose of a system is what it does. And so once you understand that, you're going to cut through a lot of deception because you're not going to be listening to the words that they keep trying to deceive you about. And then also it's going to stop you from going insane because the further away they get from the purpose of the system, they claim, you know, the purpose that they claim, people are just going to go nuts. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. We're supposed to do this. We need to get back to what they said it's supposed to do. It's not going to happen. And they're going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing it until it breaks. You understand that? They're going to push it and push it till it breaks. They'll break the system and they'll break you. They'll break your mind. Okay? And so I'm trying to help you see through that deception and to stop you from losing your mind. Because that's the times that we live in right now, okay? I'm not going to candy coat it. I'm just going to give it to you straight. It is absolutely crazy. And if you don't get your mind right, you're going to get swept away in this. You're not going to be able to handle it. Okay? And so, and I'm not pointing you back to me. I'm pointing you back to the Word of God. Of the principle, by their fruits you shall know them. You can apply that to anything. Right? Of course, first false teachers, but also anyone, anything, any institution. You can apply by their fruits, you shall know them. And, and you'll be able to sharpen your discernment, cut through that, and also get rid of stress and anxiety, which causes people to go nuts because they're, they're you know, wanting something to happen that's never going to happen. They're not going to, you're not going to rein in the system and make it do what they say it's supposed to do. Well, the purpose of the system is supposed to be doing this. We got to take it back and we got to make it do this. It ain't going to happen. They're not going to let you. How, how do I know that? Because they designed it that way from the beginning. From the beginning, the middle, and the end. You're at the end. You're not going to stop that. You're not going to turn it around. And the purpose that you thought was supposed to be in the beginning was an illusion as well. That was fake. That was, that was a lie. You've been deceived. 
And the sooner you accept that, the better. There's actually freedom in that. Okay? And so you filter all this through the Word of God. You can see right through it all. And you're going to have peace. You're going to sharpen your discernment. And you're going to be able to be more of a solid rock to those around you who are looking to you, who may look to you for God and say, man, I'm losing my mind with all this stuff going on. And you're like, no, yep, I see right through it. I know what's going on. And that's just, that's the way it is. By their fruits, you shall know them. So I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to, uh, I was thinking about that quote, you know, the purpose, of, the purpose of a system is what it does. It comes from this guy that was into, you know, cybernetics, you know, studying uh, systems, you know, feedback loops and all these things. But if you apply that just to the simple principle to politics and, and in the way that the world works and all these systems, it really does cut through a lot. It really cuts through a lot of deception and keeps you from going way off track. So... I hope that was a blessing to you. Hopefully, hopefully that was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. God bless you and have a good day.